So many screenwriters, at the stage of creating their film projects, set their main goal, to intrigue the viewer to the maximum. This is what happened with this series. At the same time, many people believe that in every TV series there must be some tension by the end of the episode, otherwise it will not be interesting to the viewer. That is why this effective method is still used by the authors. Meanwhile, the episode release date has already been determined. Spectators will be able to see a new episode on January 15th. Without hesitation, we mark this day in the calendar. A series like this may well draw a huge number of viewers to the screen thanks to a surprisingly good story and great actors. Be patient, and I think it will be worth it in the end. In anticipation of the new episodes, you might think that there is nothing better already. But there isn't. And the next series, like this one, may prove otherwise. It's certainly worth watching. American Horror Story is an American anthology horror television series created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. Each season is conceived as a self-contained miniseries, following a different set of characters and settings, and a storyline with its own beginning, middle, and end. Some plot elements of each season are loosely inspired by true events. Many actors appear in more than one season, often playing a new character. The first season, takes place in Los Angeles, California in 2011, and centers on a family that moves into a house haunted by its former occupants. Although reception to individual seasons has varied, American Horror Story largely has been well received by television critics, with the majority of the praise going towards the cast, particularly Jessica Lange. The series draws consistently high ratings for the FX network, with its first season being the most viewed new cable series of 2011. Creators Murphy and Falchuk began working on American Horror Story before their Fox series Glee began production. Murphy wanted to do the opposite of what he had done previously and thus began his work on the series. Falchuk was intrigued by the idea of putting a different angle on the horror genre, stating that their main goal in creating the series was to scare viewers. From the beginning, Murphy and Falchuk planned that each season of the series would tell a different story. After the first season finale aired, Murphy spoke of his plans to change the cast and location for the second season. The first season, American Horror Story, Murder House, received generally positive reviews from critics. Charmed is an American fantasy drama television series. The series' narrative follows a trio of sisters, known as the Charmed Ones, the most powerful good witches of all time, who use their combined power of three to protect innocent lives from evil beings such as demons and warlocks. Each sister possesses unique magical powers that grow and evolve, while they attempt to maintain normal lives in modern-day San Francisco. Keeping their supernatural identities separate and secret from their ordinary lives often becomes a challenge for them, with the exposure of magic having far-reaching consequences on their various relationships and resulting in a number of police and FBI investigations throughout the series. The series starts in 1998 when Phoebe Halliwell returns from New York and moves back into the family's Halliwell Manor in San Francisco to live with her sisters Prue and Piper. When Phoebe discovers the family's Book of Shadows in the attic, she learns that she and her sisters are the most powerful witches ever known, destined to protect both innocents and the world at large from demons, warlocks, and other evil creatures. Phoebe, reasonably suspecting the book to be a novelty, reads its initial inscription, unaware that it also happens to be an incantation activating the sisters' supernatural powers once all three are reunited in their ancestral home. By the end of the first episode, each sister learns that she has a unique magical power that allows them to cast spells and brew potions. Prue, the eldest, has the power of telekinesis, and in season 2 she develops the power of astral projection. Piper, the middle sister, has the power of molecular immobilization. As she grows more proficient, she learns how to freeze only certain people or objects or body parts, as she wishes. Good Omens is a fantasy comedy series created and written by Neil Gaiman, based on his and Terry Pratchett's 1990 novel of the same name. Michael Sheen and David Tennant lead a large ensemble cast as Aziraphale and Crowley respectively, an angel and a demon. Set in 2018, the series follows the demon Crowley and the angel Aziraphale, long-time acquaintances who, having grown accustomed to life on Earth as representatives of heaven and hell, seek to prevent the coming of the Antichrist and with it Armageddon, the final battle between heaven and hell. 
Pratchett and Gaiman had planned to adapt Good Omens as a movie for years, with various directors and writers attached to the project along the way. In 2011, a television series, written by Terry Jones and Gavin Scott, was first reported to be in the works but no further plans were announced. After Pratchett's death, Gaiman refused to ever consider working on the adaptation alone but changed his mind when he received a letter from Pratchett, written to be sent after his death, urging him to finish the project. The first episode was very interesting to many viewers. The angel Aziraphale and demon Crowley meet for the first time at the Garden of Eden as Adam and Eve are expelled after Crowley tempts them with an apple. Fast forward 11 years before Armageddon. Crowley delivers the Antichrist to a satanic convent, where the baby is to be given to an American diplomat and his family. However, a mix-up occurs and the Antichrist ends up with a middle-class English family, the Youngs. Crowley and Aziraphale meet to discuss the coming apocalypse. Aziraphale reluctantly agrees to work with Crowley. They decide that if each works to influence the boy Warlock, whom they believe to be the Antichrist, he will be neither good nor evil, just normal. In the present day, Crowley and Aziraphale attend his 11th birthday party, but realize they have the wrong boy when the Hellhound fails to appear. Meanwhile, the Hellhound has found his master, Adam Young. Adam names him Dog, which changes him into a small terrier, unknowingly initiating Armageddon. Legacies is an American fantasy drama television series, created by Julie Pleck, that premiered on October 25, 2018. Legacies follows Hope Michelson, the daughter of Klaus Michelson and Haley Marshall, who is descended from some of the most powerful vampire, werewolf, and witch bloodlines. 17-year-old Hope attends the Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted. The school provides a haven where supernatural beings can learn to control their abilities and impulses. The first episode introduces the viewer to an interesting plot. Hope Michelson, a student at the Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted, assists her headmaster, Alaric Saltzman, in recruiting werewolf, Raphael, to the school. In the process, Hope runs into her old friend Landon, who is also Raphael's foster brother, but since the school for the supernatural is deemed to be too dangerous for humans, Landon is turned away. When vampire student, M.G., fails to compel Landon to forget his knowledge of the supernatural, it is assumed Landon has ingested vervain. Landon is locked up in a cell until it can clear his system. Hope visits Landon in his cell while Alaric's daughters Josie and Lizzie give Raphael a tour of the school. Hope tells Landon the truth about her supernatural origins. Knowing his memory will be erased, Landon kisses her. After Landon leaves, it is revealed the compulsions have still not worked and he stole a knife from the school before he left. Hope enlists Josie to help her locate the knife and Landon. Landon's bus explodes and as Sheriff Matt Donovan evaluates the crime scene, Alaric deduces it was Landon, who is missing, must be some kind of supernatural being. Hope vows to track him down. The Good Doctor is an American medical drama television series based on the 2013 South Korean series of the same name. Actor Daniel Day Kim, world famous for his role in the TV series Lost, noticed the original series and bought the rights for his production company. He began adapting the series and, in 2015, eventually shopped it to CBS Television Studios. CBS decided against creating a pilot. Because Kim felt so strongly about the series, he bought back the rights from CBS. Eventually, Sony Pictures Television and Kim worked out a deal and brought on David Shore, creator of the Fox Medical Drama House, to develop the series. In the first episode, on the way to begin his surgical residency at San Jose Hospital, Dr. Sean Murphy witnesses an airport sign fall and shatter glass onto a young boy. With his unique ability to visualize the internal body and using improvised methods and tools, Sean is able to stabilize the boy. In a hospital board meeting, Dr. Aaron Glassman, president of the hospital, tries to convince the board to hire Sean, despite his autism. Throughout the episode, flashbacks were shown, revealing the picture of Sean's childhood and his motivation for becoming a doctor. Bra Sick is a British comedy drama television series which premiered on Sky One on August 22, 2019 and became Sky's most successful comedy in seven years. The series follows the lives of Vinnie O'Neill and his friends in the fictional town of Holly. 
The first series consists of six episodes, which concluded on September 19, 2019, receiving positive reviews. Bra's Sick follows the lives of Vinny and his five friends as they live their lives in the fictional northern English town of Holly. The working class group commit various crimes to keep money in their pockets, but as they get older some of them wonder if there's more to life away from the town. Lucy Mangan of The Guardian, reviewing the series, gave it 4 out of 5 stars, saying, it is a hilarious, warm, brutal melange that works because it has heart without sentimentality and authenticity without strain. Creator and lead actor Joseph Gilgan has been praised for his performance as Vinnie O'Neill, with review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes commenting, Joseph Gilgan is wonderfully expressive as Vinnie, his volatile features continually scrunching together and apart like the top of a drawstring bag. Silicon Valley is an American comedy television series. The series, a parody of Silicon Valley culture, focuses on Richard Hendricks, a programmer who founds a startup company called Pi Piper, and chronicles his struggles trying to maintain his company while facing competition from larger entities. Silicon Valley has received critical acclaim since its airing, with praise for its writing and humor. The show has been nominated for numerous accolades, including five consecutive Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Comedy Series. The first episode introduces the viewer to an interesting plot. Richard Hendricks is a low-level programmer with futuristic internet giant Huoli. He is often taunted by his more successful work colleagues, and his ideas are dismissed by egotistical entrepreneur Ehrlich Bachmann, who owns the tech development incubator where Richard lives with fellow programmers Nelson Bigetti, Bertram Gilfoyle and Dinesh Chugtai. However when Huoli stumbles upon the music copyright service that Richard is working on, entitled Pied Piper, they discover that hidden within the useless application is the best file compression algorithm in the world, and news spreads quickly. Eventually Richard is caught between a $10 million buyout by Huoli CEO Gavin Belson, and a $200,000 investment from eccentric billionaire Peter Gregory, he must decide whether to give up his program to the highest bidder, or to take the investment and create a business out of it himself. After having a panic attack and vomiting, Richard runs into Peter's assistant Monica, who tells him that she believes in him and his idea. Richard decides to take the investment, and run the business himself. Co-creator and executive producer Mike Judge had worked in a Silicon Valley startup early in his career. In 1987, he was a programmer at Parallax, a company with about 40 employees. Judge disliked the company's culture and his colleagues and quit after less than three months, but the experience gave him the background to later create a show about the region's people and companies. Silicon Valley has received critical acclaim since its premiere. In January 2017, in an audience interaction by Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, Gates recounted the episode in Silicon Valley in which the protagonists try to pitch their product to various venture capitalists, saying it reminded him of his own experiences. Game of Thrones is an American fantasy drama television series created by David Benioff and D.B. Weiss for HBO. It is an adaptation of A Song of Ice and Fire, a series of fantasy novels by George R. R. Martin, the first of which is A Game of Thrones. The show was shot in the United Kingdom, Canada, Croatia, Iceland, Malta, Morocco, and Spain. It premiered on HBO in the United States on April 17, 2011, and concluded on May 19, 2019, with 73 episodes broadcast over eight seasons. Set on the fictional continents of Westeros and Essos, Game of Thrones has a large ensemble cast and follows several story arcs throughout the course of the show. The first major arc concerns the Iron Throne of the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros through a web of political conflicts among the noble families either vying to claim the throne or fighting for independence from whoever sits on it. A second focuses on the last descendant of the realm's deposed ruling dynasty, who has been exiled to Essos and is plotting to return and reclaim the throne. The third follows the Night's Watch, a military order defending the realm against threats from beyond Westeros's northern border. Game of Thrones attracted a record viewership on HBO and has a broad, active, and international fan base. Critics have praised the series for its acting, complex characters, story, scope, and production values. The final season received significant critical backlash for its reduced length and creative decisions, with many considering it a disappointing conclusion. The series received 59 Primetime Emmy Awards. After Game of Thrones' storyline began outpacing the published novels in the sixth season, 
the series was based on a plot outline of the future novels provided by Martin along with original content. Before season 4, Martin stated there was an issue with the television series being released before the source material could be written. According to Benioff, Martin gave the showrunners an outline on the final two books of the series. Magnificent Century is a Turkish historical fiction television series. It is based on the life of Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, the longest reigning sultan of the Ottoman Empire, and his wife Hurm Sultan, a slave girl who became the first Ottoman Hasiki Sultan. It also shines the light on the era known as the Sultanate of Women. The show generated controversy and complaints from some viewers, for what they referred to as a disrespectful, indecent and hedonistic portrayal of the historical sultan. Turkey's Radio and Television Supreme Council, claimed they had received over 70,000 complaints about the show and warned Show TV to publicly apologize for wrongly exposing the privacy of a historical person. The Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan condemned the show as an effort to show our history in a negative light to the younger generations. An MP for the Governing Justice and Development Party, Oktay Saral, went further, threatening to outlaw the misrepresentation of historical figures. The series is popular in many countries around the world. In Greece, the series has become quite popular for people of all socio-economic backgrounds and ages. Many Greek viewers enjoyed the visuals and oriental decorations present in the show, as well as the cultural proximity and historical ties between the two countries. It has become so popular that Bishop Anthemos of Thessaloniki and the Golden Dawn Party condemned the show and urged Greeks not to watch it. In the Republic of North Macedonia, Turkish series have become so popular, that the Macedonian parliament has moved to ban Turkish soaps to reduce the Turkish impact on Macedonian society. Turkish series will gradually be removed and replaced by national programs, according to a 2012 bill. How I Met Your Mother is an American sitcom, created by Craig Thomas and Carter Bays for CBS. The series, which aired from 2005 to 2014, follows the main character, Ted Mosby, and his group of friends in New York City's Manhattan. The series was loosely inspired by Thomas and Bay's friendship when they both lived in New York. The vast majority of episodes were directed by Pamela Fryman, who directed 196 episodes out of 208. Known for its unique structure, humor, and incorporation of dramatic elements, How I Met Your Mother was popular throughout its run. It initially received positive reviews upon release, but reception became more mixed as the seasons went on. The show was nominated for 91 awards and received 21. In 2010, Alison Hannigan won the People's Choice Award for Favorite TV Comedy Actress. In 2012, seven years after its premiere, the series won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Network TV Comedy, and Neil Patrick Harris won the award for Favorite TV Comedy Actor twice. The series follows the adventures of Ted Mosby, played by Josh Radner, and his love life as a single man. His stories are narrated by Bob Saget as Ted Mosby 25 years later as he tells them to his adolescent children. The plot of the first episodes of the first season was very interesting. After his best friend Marshall proposes to his long-term girlfriend, Lily, Ted solicits help from his friend Barney to find the one for his life. He manages to get a date with Robin, a girl he met at his usual neighborhood bar, but threatens to scare Robin away when he accidentally reveals his love for her on the very first date. Meanwhile, Marshall accidentally hits Lily in the eye with the champagne stopper after they get engaged, forcing her to wear an eye patch. In an attempt to repair his situation with Robin, Ted instead pursues a casual relationship with her by inviting her to a series of parties. Marshall tries to write an important 25-page law paper, but Ted's parties and Lily's post-engagement desire distracts him. Meanwhile, Barney tries to end a relationship he unknowingly started. Ted agrees to let Barney disrupt his routine by taking an impromptu trip to the airport with him that eventually leads the duo to Philadelphia and trouble with airport security. Meanwhile, Lily and Robin go out for drinks, but Lily becomes jealous when she is not as successful with men as Robin is, for which she blames her engagement ring. Marshall travels between both situations in an attempt to rectify the group's problems. Peaky Blinders is a British crime drama television series created by Stephen Knight. Set in Birmingham, England, it follows the exploits of the Peaky Blinders gang in the direct aftermath of the First World War. 
The fictional gang is loosely based on a real urban youth gang of the same name who were active in the city from the 1880s to the 1910s. The fifth series premiered on BBC One. Netflix, under a deal with Weinstein Company and Indemel, acquired the rights to release the show in the United States and around the world. Peaky Blinders was created by Stephen Knight, directed by Otto Bathurst, and produced by Katie Swindon. The series was filmed in Birmingham, Bradford, Dudley, Leeds, Liverpool, and Port Sunlight. The show has been particularly celebrated for its stylish cinematography and charismatic performances, as well as for casting an eye over a part of England and English history rarely explored on television. Historians have been divided over whether bringing characters and events from other decades into a 1920s story undermines claims to historical accuracy, or whether working-class life in the period is nevertheless depicted in a truthful and resonant way. Peaky Blinders is an epic centered on a crime family of mixed Irish Catholic and Romani origins based in Birmingham, England, starting in 1919, several months after the end of the First World War in November 1918. It centers on the Peaky Blinders street gang and their ambitious, cunning crime boss Tommy Shelby. The gang comes to the attention of Major Chester Campbell, a detective chief inspector in the Royal Irish Constabulary sent over by Winston Churchill from Belfast.